So while you see me jotting down some React Native notes in the background, I'm also walking you through the installation process. I followed the official React Native docs step by step, but here's where I hit a little snag. Turns out the global version of Expo doesn't play nicely with Node 17 and above, so I have to install Expo locally. Uh, once everything was installed, my starter app was ready to go. Okay, so you're diving into a new mobile app project. It's exciting, right? Especially with something like React Native promising these amazing native apps from just one JavaScript code base. Absolutely, the potential is huge. But then you run that first command, create expo app or something similar, and suddenly, whoosh, your screen fills up with all these files and folders. These are the default template files you get straight out of the box. And I just scan the QR code, open the project on my iPhone with the Expo Go app. So whatever change I make in these template files, the moment I hit save, those changes instantly show up in the app on my phone as well. Okay, babes, let's finally start coding! So, the plan was simple. I just wanted to write a basic code that takes some input from the user. Easy, right? But no! Expo Go decided to be dramatic and told me my SDK version, which I don't have any idea what it is, wasn't compatible. And whenever something like this happens, I just turn off my brain and follow the instructions like a good little soldier. I updated the SDK version to 54.0 and guess what? Suddenly, nothing in my project was compatible with anything anymore. So basically, I had to rebuild the app. Or restart it, or redo it, or you know what I mean. So I went to ChatGPT and I was like, what the hell is going on? And after what I like to call a lot of peaceful discussions, I finally got my app running. Once that was sorted, I coded my first feature. Think of it like a sticky note or journal i don't know what to make of it right now but we're focusing on just functionality okay so it's super basic it just holds the most important stuff you absolutely need to remember kind of like those reminders on the iphone app this was the first 
feature that I coded, just taking an input of assignments that you have, I just drew the entire code in ChatGPT and I was like, babe, give me some good CSS here. And it came up with this, which is cool. I again added a few stuff like those delete icons rather than making it like a simple list you gotta make it a checklist and cross the stuff out I gave it a few final touches like reducing the border radius changing a few colors here and there and then this is what we have. I opened it on the browser this time, not on my iPhone. And this is not the final output. Don't worry about it, okay? I know it does not look good, but that's all I could code. So I do need to work on the design. See how can I add more realistic paper background? Make it look like an actual journal. But that is for the next vlog.